Well, hello there. Hello there. My name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Juggy TV. I got this question. It was about the Kemper, but I decided I wanted to cover it on the Helix as well. So I'm making this video about the Helix, even though the question was about the Kemper. HW, how do you get more sustain? And I thought, well, this is a really interesting question because it's the same whether you have an analog device or a Kemper or a Helix or a Quad Cortex or an Axe FX. It doesn't matter. The strategies are all the same. So right here, uh, let's check it out. Boom, I'm in, uh, I'm in the HX Edit. And look right above me right here. Um, I'm in the Placator, and I'm playing, this is TJBE50LX. <gasps> Copy down the settings. This is what he sells. Oh my gosh. Well, you don't have the, it, it's got, a, we've got a little uh, a tone matched IR that matches it to my BE50, at least how I mic it up and stuff. It was just, which is simple, right? It's just, I just made this because I like it. I like the way it sounds in real life. I figured we'd do it for the Helix too. So, let's say this is my sound, okay? Very cool. How do I get more sustain? How do we get more sustain? There's a couple ways to get more sustain. One is this. I can uh, go over to uh, rock. Sorry. I can go over to rock and boom. Now I've got, what do I have here? Now I've got more drive. Is this more sustain? I would say that, that is more sustain. I really would. The best way to me to get more sustain is let's try adding more gain. The next way is kind of like adding more gain, but what if we boost the front of uh, the amp or the model or whatever to get more saturation and also maybe we focus the mid-range a little bit and we kind of get more out of it. Check it out. I'm going to go right here to uh, uh, rock is the snapshot I've got here, but let's go to rock uh, plus. Rock plus. Now what did we do? Now what came on was my Minotaur, my Klon. Now look what I've got going on here, just a bit of a, a boost. Now let's, let's hear it on now with the Minotaur. <laughs> It's the same, like, sustain. It, it, it'll go on for days. It's not very loud. I'm just going through like some some speakers right here, some like uh, studio monitors. But you know, if I had a big loud thing over here, I'd be able to get some feedback and stuff. But it just it'll go on forever. <laughs> going on forever is because the guitar is of course ringing out but what happens is the gain is actually adding compression that compression then brings up the, the string uh, has a, a max level of output that it can put out right and that max level is going to come right as you attack the string and then it's going to it's going to slowly start to use up its energy the wiggle energy of the string is going to get eaten up the more it wiggles that's why it won't ring forever It'll go, but it will, it'll eventually stop, right? So as the string is just sort of wiggling, it's using up its energy, and eventually there's no more energy and it stops. But what gives us the, the, the feeling of sustain is that when we first attack, it compresses, it limits, and we get an output, and that output stays flat because we have all this compression and all this gain. So even as the energy in our string is dissipating, it's still enough to get us to the maximum level of our output in our sound. And that's a summation of the compressor in the front, the boost, the everything. <laughs> And then, and then it starts to, you know, come fall off. But we get this long feeling of just a sustained, 
you know, sustained kind of note just ringing out at the same pitch forever, like you're holding a note on a synth or a keyboard, you know? It's very saturated. All right, now how else can I get uh, can I get sustain? Can I get compression? You know, we're you, we're talking about sustain, but we're, we're adding compression to get there. Well, I, I have plenty of compression because of all the gain happening here. I have plenty of compression because I'm adding more gain, which is hitting this, which is giving me lots and lots of saturation. But what if I have a compressor, right? So I've dialed this compressor in to be very um, sort of uh, aggressive, right? So. Um, Let's put the release way high. Let's get the attack very short so we, we grab on quickly. We, we don't release for a long time. You can up the level, uh, but it's gonna sound like this. Let's take it off, see what it's doing. I mean, we've got a ton with it or without it. Now that begs the question, what if we copy this and throw one right here and we have double compression? Ooh, double compression. Can we do it? Is it against the laws of physics? I don't know. Let's find out. I mean, that feels, that feels pretty good. You got it all right there. I mean, that's a ton of compression. You could you could boost it, up it even more. You can come in here and do whatever you want with the settings. Um, I kind of prefer uh, like the two to one ratio and um, and a quick attack, long release. You know, um, uh, yeah. I mean, it, honestly, to me, I wouldn't put on a compressor afterwards, but you you certainly can. I mean, it'll work. Um, it it does the job, but it's not like. It's probably not the preferred way to do it unless you're playing slide or something clean like that, right? That you would add a compressor after the amp, unless it's like just a little bit of a touch, you like the feel of it, like an LA-2A kind of kisses the signal. A lot of people will do that on vocals, guitars, whatever. They'll do it on everything. But that's how I would increase sustain. Um, really, I think the number one things are gain. Number two would be add some more gain with uh, like a like a kind of a mid-focused um, kind of thing. <laughs> And uh, after that, I mean, you can toy with the compressors, but I really actually feel like it's all it's all right there. And then, of course, once you get it really going, you know, you can you can add in all your crazy stuff, and uh, you can get your your big lead sounds, and why not? And hey. Why don't we turn on the Tube Screamer and uh, I have an HW, that's how I would get more sustain. Let's go. <laughs>
you, it's you literally you're like a DJ. Ridiculous.